shoes, the front brakes. The first thing I'm going to do, the first thing you should do, <laughs> obviously, is take your tire out. Um, I took the tire out. I have jack stand and um, a jack. Don't, do not depend on a jack alone. So the first thing you're going to do is open the brake reservoir. You open it. And you're going to go right here and you're going to push the caliper in. You're going to just push it in just to give you nice... There you go. I'm going to push it in. If it could be much easier, you don't have to be much. At least enough. There you go. At least enough for when you take the this part out. And what's here and what's holding this part right here is the is a 14 millimeter. And I'm gonna be using my impact gun, my earthquake. And you have one here. This one. Also one in the bottom. Take those two out. Make sure they're the same size before. You want to make sure they're the same size. And they are the same size. You want to put them there. You don't want to let this hang. And I don't know where my spring. I'm going to have to find my spring because I got to remove the rotors. So, let me see if I can put it up here just for now. Let me put it right here. Okay, I'll put it back here. You just want to make sure that the caliber is not hanging. So what we're going to do is take the brake path. What you have to do is just pull them. Ooh, they're a little hot because she was just driving. Okay. Ooh, look at this. No brakes at all. No brakes at all. Good. She caught it on time. So we'll take both of them out. Like I said, make sure it's not hot. In this situation, it's hot. You got your brackets there. So what we're going to do is want to make sure the sliding pins is good I'm gonna I'm gonna grease them up anyway so okay so now we're gonna take this part out and you're gonna need a breaker ball you're gonna need a 22 millimeters so I'm gonna start with the top one this thing should be tough in there Oh, that was tough. I just moved the camera. That was tough. All right. You seen that, huh? Okay. Let's go with the other one. At least we broke it. Let's go with the other one. Oh, boy, those things is hard. So this, these are 22 millimeters. Ooh. So now once you break them, let me see my impact gun. My big earthquake figure in there. Hopefully you can see that. You can see that. Oh. You can see I'm working fast today. So you saw it? Right there. You don't want to take them out. You can leave them right there. These are 22 millimeter socket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean all this up. First, let me move all my all my impact guns out of the way. Now the rotors it just pulls out. Just pull it. They're a little hot because she was driving and make sure they're not hot. Yeah, ha. So all you have to do is just pull it. But in case if it was stuck, all you gotta do is hit it with a little rubber mallet or hammer slowly. But in this situation, it came out. Okay, we're looking good. Let me go get the rotors. I'll be right back. Okay. I got my brake pass right here. What I'm gonna do is put the box. Let me just put it here because I want you to see what I'm doing. What we 
want to do is we want to clean the road is really good because it usually comes with some grease on it Take all the rest and do addery. Clean up real good. You clean it just to take the grease out of it. Okay. While I'm here, let me clean all this up also. Yeah. Let me see where my brush is at. Here you go, make sure you get a brush and you clean it really good. Take the other one. Okay, this is done here. Just want to make sure, because we don't got new hardware, so you just want to clean these as good as possible. Okay. So now, let me just move you over here. Trying to give you a nice view. So what we're gonna do is just put our rotors in. You also wanna clean the back back here a little bit. Oh, can come on pretty good. Oh, I broke my brush. I gotta have to get another brush. So once you clean that, I'm gonna put the rotors in, they just slide right in. Bang. Wanna take one of the lug nuts, put it in. It's just to hold it for when you put the this part back. You can see that? Okay. Now that's in, let's go back over here. So we're gonna put this right back, it just slides right in. So you wanna put the two, the 22 millimeters nuts right in. Do it with your hand first. Use my impact gun. Make sure I got them right. I don't know how much torque you're supposed to have. Make sure you look at your owner's manual and see what it is. 
So I'm just gonna do it tight enough. There you go. Okay. Now. We're gonna take the slide pins. And they're moving pretty freely. But knowing me, I'm gonna clean them. Add some more in it. Just push it in. There you go. Boom. Take the other one. Clean it up. Make sure I put a lot here. So. Oh yeah. I'll clean it up right there. Take the other one, grease it up. There you go. So that's good. Now you're gonna take a little bit. You're gonna put right in here. Right in there. Right in there. A little bit also on the top. So now we're gonna put, you can put a little bit here and a little bit up here. go and make sure they go in like this they do not go in like that okay so you have the pin here let me just show you right here quick I'll see you what I'll show you what I'm doing here and what you're gonna do is just take it down here see the spring you're gonna push it in I'll take these pins okay my friend you have these pins here you see these pins you gotta make sure that this pin slides right in and the top one right here goes right on the top let me just show you one right here you put the bottom first right put the bottom in and then what you're gonna do take this bottom piece and it's gonna go under the bracket right in and this should be right in the out like that and that's how you put it okay make sure you clean it okay now the other one I'm gonna put grease right on the top a little bit right here in the top I'm gonna do let's go on this side So don't forget this one goes in like this right in and then don't forget that this metal piece goes in the bottom I don't know if I'm gonna be covering you That's it. Make sure that that bottom one goes under. And that's about it. So now make sure everything is clean. Everything is greased up. Make sure you get the torque spec on the 22 millimeters here. Now, clean it up really good. What I'm gonna do is just put this back in. You're gonna press the piston in and you're gonna use the old brake pass. Just put this there for now. You wanna use a C-clamp? I got this little one here. They got better ones than this. I'm gonna take the rotors. 
I mean, the, you want to put, don't forget to open the brake on the master cylinder, open it. And what you're going to do is, you're going to push it in. Push it all the way in. As much as you can. All the way in. And what's happening is the brake fluid is going and it's going to the master cylinder in the top. Make sure you open it. And you just press it in. See how they're in? All the way in. Make sure this wire is not turned. Can you see there? Let me see if you can see there. Make sure it goes in. Make sure this wire is not all twisted up. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna push it right in. You have to press these in. You have to press them in. The bottom and the top, okay? You're gonna take your bolts, put it right in, one at a time. Like I said, I know the, the torque spec on it. Make sure you look at your owner's manual to see what it says. And like I always say, I do these jobs just to show you that if I can do it, you guys and girls can do it. If non mechanic can do it, you can do it. Do it by hand first. The other one. Okay, let me get my impact gun. Then you want to use your 3 8 wrench to make sure they're nice and tight. There you go. There you go. For the bottom, for the 22s, even though we use the impact gun, we want to make sure that it's nice and tight. This is a half inch um, ratchet. Oh, this is nice and tight. The bottom one. Okay. You want to make sure everything is in. Make sure everything is moving freely. Okay. What I'm gonna do when I come back, I'm gonna do the other side and then I, um, I'm gonna pump the brakes. So, this is how you change the brakes and rotors on a 2015 Nissan Maxima. Um, like I said, if I can do it, you can do it. Make sure you don't have no grease nowhere. You want to clean the grease from the rotor. You don't want no sliding. There you go. Hey, sir. How you doing, sir? Okay. This is it. This is how you change um, the brakes and rotors on the 2015 Nissan Maxima. See you later. If I can do it, you can do it. This is now Mechanic. Once again, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. And um, yes, post them down below or contact me at nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. That is nonmechanic at yahoo.com. You know what? Let me pump the brakes for you can see. I'm going to pump the brake at least 10 times and hopefully you can see in there. Let me, let me get you in there real close. 
and you're gonna see you got a gap in there and you're gonna see once I pump them you're gonna see how that closes If I can do it, you can do it.